Ladies and gentlemen, here we are. I want to introduce you to uh, chapter 13. This is kind of where the Industrial Revolution begins. Um, there's a few different things that we need to think about as we approach this. Um, some review for us is talking about well, what does the Industrial Revolution really mean? What, what is the big change that's happening here? Uh, the big change that we all know about is manufacturing went from handmade to if you said machine, you are exactly correct. That's what we're talking about when we talk about the Industrial Revolution. Uh, there's a few different things here we got to understand. This is when all kinds of new inventions came uh, to be and were invented and when really they started to innovate on older inventions and really make them better. If you think about uh, your iPod as compared to a record player, that would be considered an innovation. They do the same thing, however, one of them is a little bit more convenient than the other. So I want you to think about that process as we start talking about the Industrial Revolution. Um, I'm sitting in front of a map here that kind of shows us some of the things that were happening during the Industrial Revolution. Uh, this particularly has to do with resources. Um, what were we doing with resources? How is that part of the Industrial Revolution? And uh, ultimately, what was the result of that? So we want to start thinking about some of those things. Some of the resources that are highlighted on this map, and I, uh, if you can't see it, I would encourage you to stop by and take a look at this map uh, in class when you get a chance. Um, we see a few different uh, resources that really became uh, mainstay for uh, the United States during this time period. A couple of the resources I want to show you on here are things like oil. You see some uh, oil towers here. Uh, we see things like mining, coal, those types of things, absolutely uh, huge during this time period. Uh, some of the other things that we would talk about would be uh, mining, okay? Because one of the things that was one of the largest and uh, biggest innovations that took place during this time period was um, how people made steel. We're going to talk about some of the people uh, that came up with these innovative ideas and inventions uh, and, and really... Um, change the way that the, the world looked during this time period. Um, so that's really kind of our introduction into uh, what the Industrial Revolution is and what it means for, uh, or what it meant for the United States and what it means for us today. Um, think about some of your vocab terms. One of the big ones that I want you to understand is uh, what capitalism is. Okay, this is more for your econ class, but it's good to know for this class. Um, capitalism is uh, it's an economic system, which means that's, this is the way that people make money, uh, the way people spend money and things like that. Capitalism talks about uh, private ownership of businesses and really the capital or like the machines that are within a business. Uh, it means that the government doesn't own them and control them. Okay, so capitalism is this new economic system that really is taking root uh, in the United States during this time period. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at some of the positives that came out of uh, the Industrial Revolution in terms uh, of our economic system, capitalism, as well as some of the issues that arose during this time period. Um, and I think uh, you'll find some, some real interesting facts here as we continue our study of uh, the Industrial Revolution. I want you to remember some of our vocabulary terms. We've got things like the Bessemer process. That's something you need to understand. That has to do with steel. Uh, it's a new way of making steel. What was so special about the Bessemer process? That's what I'd like to know. Uh, then we need to think about, uh, we've got one called the Sherman Antitrust Law. Well, who is Sherman? Who doesn't trust him? And what are we talking about? Why did they have to pass a law? So I want you to start thinking about, well, what's a trust? Yeah, that's an interesting one that we need to start thinking about uh, as we move forward. So um, these are some ideas I want you to think about here for the Industrial Revolution. We're not going to spend a ton of time on this, uh, but you still need to be familiar with uh, the ins and outs that took place during this time period. Um, if you have questions about this, something's not clear, make sure you're letting me know because I really want to help you out with this and help you understand because what we're going to see is we're going to see some kind of cause and effect of the Industrial Revolution. Now, one of the cool things that we can focus on before we really get into the, all the nitty-gritty of it all um, are some of the cool inventions that took place during this time period. Uh, one of the things I had you do today was, well, what do you think the greatest inventions uh, really of your lifetime are? Okay, And what I want you to look at now are 
some of the greatest inventions that I would say of all time that took place during this time period. Uh, it's kind of cool because it hits close to home here in Michigan. We are the motor state, and Henry Ford was uh, crucial in changing the way that things are manufactured. And what I mean is I'm talking about the assembly line process, and what that means is that somebody had a specific job when making a car. Their job was maybe to put the wheels on the car. Or maybe their job was to put the windshield on the car. It wasn't that they put one car together. What would happen is the car would come in front of them. They would do their job, whether that was putting wheels on or putting the windshield on. And the car kept going on to the next person. And we refer to that as the assembly line. So I want you to take a look up here. We've got the early automobiles. That would be Henry Ford's assembly line. We've got airplanes. Yeah, airplanes don't grow on trees, ladies and gentlemen. They were invented by somebody. Uh, we've got the phonograph, which means that you could hear things like music. It was like kind of an early record player. Okay, you could record your voice. It was really interesting. Uh, one of the other ones, of course, probably one of the most important, I would guess, uh, or say, is the light bulb and uh, electricity. And we'll talk about the importance of that here in a little while. Uh, the last one here, of course, is the telephone. Well, telephone. Hey, how you doing? Nope. I know. Okay. Talk to you later. Bye. Ooh. Yeah, telephone. So these are some of the cool inventions that took place during the Industrial Revolution. We'll talk more in depth about this, and we'll talk about some of the things that occurred uh, because of the Industrial Revolution um, that maybe weren't so good. So until then, Mr. Orm here signing off.